go. Allie and I are playing the ball game. Give me that ball. Give me that ball. Oh, give me that ball. Give me that ball. We're going to start this video off with that today. And as you can see, I haven't um, cleaned that green lichen up over there. So I think I'm going to do that today and see how well that stuff works. And then I'll tell you a story about a little squirrel in my backyard. It's not a happy story, but I will tell you that story. Um, I came out here one day with Mally to play throw the ball and I saw this little squirrel crawling, like dragging its back legs in the back there. And it went into the arborvitae, so I grabbed Mally and I took her in the house and I thought, oh no, it must've been hit by a car or whatever, or, you know, poisoned by a neighbor. I don't know, you know. Next day I came out and I saw it hanging under one of these things like just barely hanging on the little limb with its legs just kind of like dangling and I thought oh no so I called somebody and they said that it either got hit by a car or whatever but or fell out of a tree and then it might be okay but just to give it a few days so I've been kind of watching in here but that's why Nelly has her leash on today because if she goes in there and if it is dead under there I want to be able to grab her out of there and um you know take her in the house but so far she has not we just got back from the walk too so she's pooped and so far she has not gone in there but every once in a while like a big bunch of that stuff will fall out of my trees so i've got to pick that up today so i got things to do today around the house i want to um i might well, i don't know if i'm going to trim this today or not but i'm definitely going to um i'm definitely going to do the lichen stuff and maybe put some of that wet wet and forget in some places and i'll share that with you but that's this is another, like, this is what I'm doing around the house kind of video. And I don't know if there's going to be golfing in here or walking in here or whatever. But I'm glad you're here with us. Look at this cute puppy. Nally, you so cute. Are you so cute? I wish you could see her lashes. They're so cute. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get the ball. I'm going to get the ball. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. <laughs> Come on now, bring me the ball. This is where she plays keep away. I wanted to show you this. Remember I told you how pink this turns out? Look, isn't that stunning? It is so beautiful. And yes, this is one of the plants that Mally likes to eat. But um, I looked it up and it's not toxic, so. But yeah, isn't that beautiful? That comes out every year just like that. It is the most beautiful plant. And then I cut it down at the, you know, in the winter. And it comes back up. Just like the peonies. They come all the way back and then they come back up. Stunning, isn't it? I love that. All right, Pooper. All right, Pooper. So, this is the craft room right now. Um, this is what I'm creating with. When I'm making a mess, I am pulling out those suitcases. And believe me, this becomes a great big fat mess and I love it. Um, the Buddha is in the guest room right now, but it's clean and it's bright and it's just a lot of fun to create in here. And I just wanted to kind of give you guys a feel for when I'm making my messes and paying bills and keeping track of household. This is where it's all happening. So anyway, and I'm inspired by it. I feel so much better when my area is clean after I make a mess. So yeah, this is it. So I'm gonna make some chocolate chip cookies today while we're just chilling at home, listening to the lo-fi beats. Um, it's just some chocolate chip cookies. Where are my chocolate chips? Oh, they're over there. But I'm gonna add, I have these in my cupboard. So I'm gonna add these butterscotch flavors to it. That's gonna be weird, but you know, I do that. If I have a little bit of something left, I'm just going to add it because, I, I mean, I don't know what else to do with it. So I'm going to add those. Oops, I'm going to add these to my chocolate chips today. These are just basically Toll House chocolate chip cookies. And I bought some good vanilla for a change. You know, I decided not to buy the crappy vanilla anymore because um, it's got some weird stuff in it. So I decided, you know, I better stick to some good vanilla. So as soon as these are finished... Um, what? So as soon as these are um, warm and, re you know, room temperature, I'm going to bake up some cookies today. And I'll show you how I divide them up and freeze part and then just 
bake a few. A few. <laughs> all right, they're all ready to go into the oven and I thought I would just chat with you for a second while I'm making up my, my little cookies here. Um, so the reason why I, I decided I'm making cookies today is because um, I'm doing what I consider a no spend day. And I try to do a few of those in a month, more than just a few, to be honest. Um, I like to have some days where I don't go out at all, where I don't go anywhere. Because when you're retired, I'm finding that it's really easy to say, oh, I'm bored, let's just go to the store and walk around, or let's go to the mall, or let's do this, or let's do that. Mally's attacking my leg right now. Not attacking, but she's got a, something in her mouth and she wants me to play with her. So she is, so if I'm moving funny, it's because she's um, bumping into me to try to get my attention is what's going on. But anyway, so, you know, I'm, and I'm trying to not do that because number one, um, you know, I just feel like in this economy, you need to be more conscious of what you're spending on. When you're retired and you're on a fixed income, you need to be more conscious of what you're spending on. And, you know, those kind of things. And so, and I just, number one, don't like to spend a lot of money um, because I don't like a lot of stuff. So, um, you know, and if you're out and out running around, you're gonna get more stuff. And you guys know how I feel about stuff. It just bogs me down after a while. <laughs> She's banging into me. Okay, okay. So anyway, so that's why um, I'm doing cookies because, you know, I noticed that if I get really bored, um, it's like, well, I'm going to go, go get an ice cream or I'm going to go do this or I'm going to go do that. And then pretty soon I find myself at the store and I really don't want to find myself at the store. So I find that if I make a batch of cookies or some pumpkin bread or banana bread, whatever that I tend to stay on my my budget and my um my no spend days some of these look a little small and they're like we're a little stingy there Don so I'm adding <laughs> a few more morsels to these but anyway so that's why I think it's a really good idea to to bake at home and to have some treats at home so that you don't find yourself wanting to go to the store and then spend it money that you you know you don't need to spend so anyway so that's why i'm cooking money these are my i should call them no spend cookies anyway all right guys and so okay so we're back what i like to do with the rest of the cookie dough is i like to freeze it so i'll put it in um in here and what i'll do before i put it in there is i'll write you know 375 10 minutes on here so i remember what they are chocolate chip 375, 10 minutes. So, yeah, so anyway, don't touch that for a while because it's, it's still, um, it's still wet with ink. So, yeah, so then just plop it in here and then freeze it. And my gosh, you don't, you know, this'll, and this lasts in the freezer forever. I, you know, I've never had it go bad, of course. I mean, how long can a person leave chocolate chip cookies in the freezer? <laughs> not me and not long. This is kind of a mess here. I'll, I'll wipe, wipe this down before I freeze it, but there's that. And I'm telling you this cookie dough, I had a bite of it. I'm not supposed to do that, but I did it anyway. So this is how I did it. I just 375, 10 minutes, chocolate chip. And then I, you know, if I do, I do oatmeal this way. I do, um, that's kind of the only cookies I make is oatmeal and chocolate chip. All right, these are ready to go into the freezer. I guess I could have just wrote the, the instructions on the one big bag, but that's okay. So these are ready to go in the freezer. We've got three batches and I do them flat because they defrost faster that way. Another tip is you can always just cut these into squares and kind of make little square cookies. Um, if you're in a hurry, you know, so anyway, so that's what I do with my cookies. And um, I always try to have a treat on hand. I guess we could call these my no spin chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> I don't know.
Hi guys, I'm just going to add this in here right now. Um, this is kind of like some of the books that I've been reading and listening to. And uh, we'll start with The Particular Sadness of Lemon Cake. And this one's by Amy Bender. And I was actually in 2010, I was actually in um, at a conference where she was speaking. It was an author's conference in Pasadena. And I went to her breakout session and I could not wait to, to read this book. But it's taken me this long to read it. And I have to tell you, I was very, very disappointed with this book because, well, for many reasons, um, it just was odd. I mean, I love odd books, but this one, it just was, I don't even know how to, how to describe it. The, um, the premise is, you know, this girl can taste people's feelings when she eats the food that they've made, which is great. But then it moves on to her brother can turn himself into furniture and her father can't go into hospitals because he's not sure what will happen if he does. Her grandfather could, I can't remember what he could do, but all of that said, then she turns around and, and her writing style is so weird. She doesn't use quotes or anything. And so first off, you have to buy into this weird premise and then you have to be able to get past the fact that she's not um, following um, a traditional uh, writing style. So it just was a big turnoff for me and, and I was just so disappointed because I really wanted to like this book. Was really waiting to read it, couldn't hardly get through it. And um, I'm really sorry that I didn't like this book. This book, The Truth About Melody Brown, I'm not sure why I didn't like this book, but I can't, because I wrote, read it like a month or so ago. Um, but I didn't give this, I think, but maybe a two stars as well. And I love Lisa Jewell. So that one, um, you'll just have to be on your own why this one is. Uh, yeah, this one was another just odd, odd book that I just couldn't get into. Now this, Debbie, I can't believe this. I think that I rated this Debbie Macomer or whatever her name is, Macomer, higher than I read, rated this, which is weird because this is not my style. I don't like these fluffy books at all but this is an audiobook and I put it in my car and I mean I listened to it for quite a long time um it takes me a while to get through a book when it's on in my car because I don't drive a lot but I really enjoyed it I just really really did so um this one I think I gave it 2.5 or something so these are the books that I have been reading I'm reading another one right now by Sunny Hostin or something. She's the girl from The View, and she's and she wrote a story about Martha's Vineyard, and particularly, uh, I want to say upper crust black society in uh, Martha's Vineyard. I'm not all the way into it yet. I'm just getting started, but it's really interesting, and I'm loving it. So I, I really like it so far. I mean, it's not going to be a bestseller for me. Um, I think it actually is though. But anyway, um, it's a good one. It's called. Um, I don't know, I'll put, put the name of it in here. Something about summer on the cliffs or something. Anyway, all right, you guys. I'll talk to you later. I hope you're enjoying the vlog. Talk to you later. Bye, guys. What are these two doing? Uh-oh. Come back over this way. There is Melly and Hamish running crazy. Oh. <laughs> Go get her, Hamish. And she's... <laughs> She's just glad to be out of the house. We went for a long walk this morning, though. And they are. In this beautiful backyard is my neighbor's. Nance. Isn't that pretty? You guys stay out of those bushes. <laughs> you stay out of those bushes. Get out of there, Malik. Oh, it's okay. Clean. Okay. All right. And there's her handsome boyfriend. The stud muffin.